But first, it's been a day of upheaval at the Fremantle Football Club after the shock axing of coach Mark Harvey. Mark Reddings explains how it all unfolded. Mark. Greg, it's been an extraordinary chain of events in this coaching shake-up at the Dockers. This morning, Mark Harvey flew out of Perth for a pre-planned fishing trip with his wife Donna. About half an hour later, his replacement, Ross Lyon, arrived in Perth, avoiding waiting news crews. Then, at midday, while the players were being addressed at the football club, Ross Lyon was joined at a press conference by Fremantle's chief executive and president, where the trio received a grilling from the media. After such a controversial decision by the Dockers' management, there's widespread anger among supporters. Some even vowed not to renew their membership. So, Ross Lyon has begun his four-year contract with the Dockers in a deal believed to be worth about $4 million. Under attack from the media today, Lyon is adamant he didn't stab Mark Harvey in the back. Just like Mark Harvey's axing, today's media grilling was brutal. Ross, do you feel you stabbed Mark Harvey in the back? Not particularly, no. I've been headhunted by the Fremantle Football Club. Ross, do you think your reputation has been tarnished by this? Well, it's an opinion business. How do you look the players in the eyes over the next two years when Greater Western Sydney are sniffing around? How do you then look them in the eye and say, show loyalty to the football I'll club? I'll just take you back a little bit. You're making a big assumption. Denying the Dockers began negotiations five weeks ago, Steve Rossich revealed his first meeting with Ross Lyon took place in Melbourne on September 4. It came to a head yesterday when Harvey was dragged out of a list management meeting and was sacked. The board is unanimous, the senior management of the club are unanimous that this is the best decision for the football club. You know, to look Mark in the eye, it was very difficult. When it came to choosing between staying a saint or moving to the Dockers, Lyon says Fremantle delivered where his old club didn't. Fremantle professionally were able to lock and load a four-year term that had satisfied me within 72 hours in comparison to six months so in the end it was a relatively easy decision. But the hostility continued over Lyons reported annual salary of about one million dollars. I sit here very comfortable with my integrity and my honour. I've, ex I've exercised a clause in my contract. The Dockers decision not to tell the AFL of its shock move drew the ire of Andrew Demetriou. On balance uh, I think people are entitled to ask questions about uh, issues of commitment, integrity. Um, I've spoken to Andrew this morning because I think his comments are inappropriate. I've advised him of that. While Fremantle's relationship with the AFL is strained, the partnership between Lyon and his management group, ESP, is over after they dumped him. That company also manages Mark Harvey. With a win-loss ratio of 63% and having taken the Saints to three grand finals, Lyon is a proven performer. However, if today is any guide, it might take a premiership to win over the West. That and some passion for Purple. Oh, Ross, how does Purple feel on you? How does it look? Oh, it's not Ross. too bad. You... Ross, yeah, can you feel the colour? Yeah, I think you can. Mark Harvey has kept a dignified silence since being sacked as coach. Today he left for a fishing trip to escape the intense scrutiny. Still shaken by his shock demise, Mark Harvey left Perth today on a pre-planned four-day fishing holiday to Catherine Gorge, and he was saying little. How's that? How are you feeling, mate? Last night at home, he and his family were still reeling from Fremantle's decision. It's obviously a hard time, but we're all getting around him and, you know, we're dealing with it as best we can. Carlton coach and friend Brett Ratton was saddened with the news. Just to have uh, your job removed from you so quickly, I think it's, um, yeah, it's a real hard one for him to take and I feel sorry for him. So um, hopefully he's all right. I'll give him a call in a, a week or two to see how he's travelling. Talkback radio and social media forums have been in overdrive with many critical of Harvey's axing, but Paul Hazelby, who played under Harvey, says it's the right call. Yeah, I think they have, and they're the ones that uh, are in charge of that. They're there every day, and they've made the right decision, and like I said before, maybe the way that they did it might uh, be criticised a little bit, but they know the football club better than anyone. The 208-game Dockers veteran believes the board didn't see a future with Harvey. He was out of contract next year. They would have had to ask themselves, is Mark Harvey the man for the job? And they obviously said... He's probably not the man going forward. The deposed Dockers coach will be paid out for the final year of his contract. While his future remains clouded, former Essendon mentor Kevin Sheedy could lure Harvey to Greater Western Sydney. For now, Harvey's gone fishing. Peter Vlahos, Nine News.
Well, the Dockers players are yet to meet new coach Ross Lyon. Today, I spoke with captain Matthew Pavlich about the dramatic developments at the club. Pretty surprised at, I guess, uh, how swiftly uh, things came to a head and how swiftly the club acted, both in terms of uh, removing Mark and putting in place Ross. So um, it's been a, a whirlwind 24 hours, there's no question of that. And uh, I guess from this point in time, we're looking forward to the pre-season starting. Mark Harvey, it's a tough time for him and his family. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I've tried to get a hold of Mark, but uh, you know, understandably, he's uh, sort of had his phone off, and I think he's tried to get away at some point today to spend some time with the, his loved ones. Uh, we obviously got really close with Donna, Trent Page, and obviously Mark over the journey. Uh, he's been here for six years now, and, and four of those as a as a senior coach. So. In terms of the captain and coach uh, relationship, we had a really strong one and uh, it is disappointing to see him go, but I think it just reminds us all how brutal and ruthless this industry is. Finally, what does Ross Lyon, in your view, bring to this club? Oh, look, I think, you know, a great amount of experience. Uh, he seems tough and uncompromising and he brings some success, you know, some genuine success. He was you know, ever so close to winning a premiership at some point during his tenure at St Kilda. And we're really excited about uh, what he'll be able to bring to our young and developing list. So in the Dockers' hometown, fans have been left stunned by the coaching shake-up. Andy Wertham is at Frio headquarters. That's right. Mark Harvey's sudden departure has sent shockwaves throughout Dockers supporters who are furious at how he's been treated. Feeling betrayed by their own club, some say they might not renew their membership. Die-hard Dockers fans came out in force today showing their support for their sacked coach. Mark Harvey was a fantastic coach and a fantastic person. I think it was like some big company's executive slicing execution. Just to clarify that, At Fremantle Oval, together they listened to Ross Lyon's news conference. Some so angry they're threatening to cancel their membership. What I actually do? cried. He's treated like dirt and I'm very ashamed for the club. They've absolutely cut his legs from underneath him. Two teams left stunned. St Kilda players and supporters also shocked at the sudden defection of their coach. Yeah, it's certainly a bit of a, a kick in the pants. Devastating, but like good riddance. We uh, would love to have kept coaching. coaching. We uh, gave him what we thought was a good offer, but uh, obviously not good enough. Not everyone's sorry to see Mark Harvey go. Something wrong, we seem to be dying away, you know. Might be the best move, get a good coach over here and hopefully get in the finals next year. Footy fans took to Facebook, some to vent their anger, others to welcome the new coach. Here in Fremantle, emotions are mixed, not only towards Mark Harvey's sudden departure, but also for the Dockers' new coach, Ross Lyon. So, no, I hope he won't be welcomed. I'm sorry, I won't welcome him. The guys. Hasn't got a proven track record. I think you're probably the best uh, chance we've had in a long time. But it seems, if anything, the most loyal and protective of fans are now even more so. Yeah, all the best to you, Doggers. Tiffany Werthmer, Nine News. And we're after your say on the shake-up at the Dockers in our Nine News phone poll. We're asking, should Mark Harvey have been sacked as Fremantle coach? For yes, the number to call is 1900 999 for no, dial 1900 999 3. We'll run the phone poll right through the weekend with the result in Nine News on Monday night. And I'll return shortly with more on the Ross Lyon coaching development. Ross Lyon believes the Dockers must improve in three key areas if they're to win their first ever premiership. The new Fremantle coach says the first priority is a big pre season. The new Dockers coach had to handle the pressure of a media barrage today and next season he'll expect the same from his players when it comes to pressure on the field. Lyon may have just become the AFL's highest paid coach and for their investment, Fremantle wants sustained success. I think the real issue is that what people want is they want to see their clubs play finals and win premierships. Although he never lifted the Premiership Cup for the Saints, Lyon managed a grand final appearance in 2009 and 2010 and his formula for success is... Premierships are won with strong pre-seasons, a strong leadership group and a strong game plan and, and those foundations are all laid in the next five months. Lyon's game plan evolves around defence but other key elements are required. The values are about hard work, discipline, mental toughness and a desire to compete. The 44-year-old spent five years at St Kilda with his outlook on life, including football, a simple one. 
It's about possibility. You can be what you want to be, and, and that's my whole philosophy. And Fremantle want to be an on-field success, with Ross Lyon seen as the individual that may bring the Port Club their first AFL Premiership. As for the Dockers players... The players are very much looking forward to working with Ross. Peter Vlahos, Nine News.